guys, and welcome back today to episode number four of the Bournemouth career mode. So far, it's very hard to find anything positive about what we have done in this career mode. Now, that sounds really, really bad, but I'll be the first to admit I've been really struggling playing with Bournemouth on world class in the Premier League. Now, a lot of people have been saying lower the quality and play professional so that you're not getting beat all the time. I'm going to stick with world class simply because... Bournemouth career mode, I don't want it to be my only career mode in FIFA 16. Eventually, once we've done whatever we can with Bournemouth, we'll move on to another career mode. And I don't want to have to play it on professional. I think the more I play on world class, the more I'll get used to it. Because I've not really actually played anything but ultimate team for a long time. So, just thought I'd clear that one up for you guys. Reading at home in the Capital One Cup. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to use some more of the players in our squad. We are going to make quite a few changes. I'm going to put Solanke up front. I'm also going to give a start to Charlie Masonda who can play. Loftus-Cheek can go there. Tielemann's going to have a rest. We're going to stick Ronaldo, our loan signing from Barcelona. At left back, we are also going to give Adam Federici a game against his former club, Reading. Now, surely, this is going to be our first win of the Bournemouth career mode. If we don't get the first victory, at least in this episode, I'm going to be headbutting the bloody desk. One nil down against Reading. Another very, very good goal. We're not going to get beaten by a championship side. If that is the case, then, well, I have literally got to hang my head in shame. Let's go. Ranty, has got the pace. Can he get round the back? He's done well. Solanke! What a response from Bournemouth. Dominic Solanke after a brilliant ball in from Ranty. That is the response that we have been lacking in the first three episodes. We get an equaliser and we've got to use this now to get forward and make the most of this opportunity against the weaker team. Big header from Solanke. Love that. It's literally the equivalent goal. What is happening? The equivalent goal as soon as I scored again. This is absolutely mad. Look at this. How can you defend against this? Look at that. That is ridiculous. Yet another defeat. We are beaten by Reading in the League Cup. 2-1 and I just couldn't break them down the last 20 minutes of the game I hardly touched the ball once because they're playing all this possession football around the back we don't want to dwell on the Capital One Cup defeat too much we are going straight in to the game at Stoke City the Britannia Stadium Stoke versus Bournemouth as we still look for our first win on this career mode and in the Barclays Premier League now I've got a funny feeling we are going to put in a better performance in this game and hopefully we can get something to show for it at the end. Good cross. Lovely ball. Callum Wilson has stayed on side. What can he do? He's taken on the man. Max Gradle. Surely a goal. Oh! But somehow it takes a deflection of the keeper and the defender to deny us the goal. Come on, Matt Ritchie. Put it in for Elphick on a plate. Wilson! I should have scored. Tommy Elphick puts it towards the box. That is a poor free kick. Matt Ritchie wins the header though. Wilson, we're having chances in this game. This has been a very positive opening 20 minutes here. Right then, we have got a corner in the last kick of the first half. Can we get it onto someone's head? No, it's an awful ball, but it is going to fall for Yuri Tielemans though. To Tommy Elphick. Can he bend one? Elphick! Oh! Right then, half-time is nil-nil. Probably the best performance in a first half since the game at Anfield in episode number two. Can we go on and go one better than a point by getting our first victory here at the Britannia Stadium against Stoke? A Stoke team that have struggled in the league, I think, from my last look at the table. Now, Harry Arter has stolen back the ball to Max Gradle. Passes it in towards Tielemans. Gradle's going to carry on his run. Max Gradle now. Can he get in the decent cross towards... Callum Wilson, he's not in front of that man again. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous indeed. Well dealt with again at the back by Simon Francis. Wilson gets the nod on, but it's picked up by Arnautovic. The pace of the game is speeding up now very, very quickly. Okay, what a chance this is. Callum Wilson, surely, to make it 1-0 Callum Wilson. We lead at the Britannia Stadium. Brilliant breakaway goal. Harry Arter's ball over the top. And you can see what it means. Look at his face, man. He knows this is a big moment for me. Just hopefully, dear God, hopefully we don't go down the other end now and concede a goal. Look at this. Brilliant strength from Wilson. He's running. He's running. And with his left foot, he tucks it past the keeper. We are leading. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get it away. 
Oh my word, just get it away. Brilliant tackle. Let's go, Matt Ritchie pokes the ball forward. Wilson is there. What a ball that was. Christian Atsu now. Surely not another goal. Breakaway. Lovely cross. Oh, and it's cleared away from Butland. What an unbelievable game this is. Francis again. He's played the ball forward to Atsu, who's got the pace. <laughs> Ref. Oh, that's got to be. That's got to be a yellow card. Yellow card. Atsu again with the breakaway. We're playing counter-attacking football now. Let's see if we can bend one up and over the wall with Harry Arta deflected for a corner. Part of me wants to just keep the ball in the bloody corner. Arta again now. Wilson, he's turned brilliantly. Callum Wilson, he goes to the shot, he's brought down. Tielemans, what can Yuri Tielemans do with it now? He's got round the back here. Yuri Tielemans, oh! Somehow he manages to put it past the post. After losing to Reddin at the start of this episode, I did not think we'd be able to put in a performance like this in this game. If I can see the goal now, this will be like Heartbreak Hotel. This would be as bad as it can ever be for me. Playing FIFA, Yuri Tielemans now sends Callum Wilson away. We've not made a single substitute in this match. Callum Wilson, he goes to Ben 1. Come on, we have literally got seconds remaining just to hold on and not concede a goal here. Referee, blow the whistle, please. No, dear Lord. Comes off the back of Juve. That should be enough. That's got to be enough. We've done it. We have finally, finally won a match in this Bournemouth career mode. And I was going to say to myself, look, I'm going to move it down to professional because I can't beat world class. And finally, we get our first win. And I'm so, <laughs> you can probably tell, I'm very excited and very happy about this victory. Callum Wilson, four shots, one goal. Drop a like on the video if you're as stoked as me. Literally, see what I did there? Stoked as me to get our first win of the season. Buzzing. Well, the first victory of the season means we leapfrog Stoke. We go into 15th place in the table. We're out of the relegation zone, which is definitely a positive. Let's take a look at the upcoming games to see who we have. We don't have a match until Saturday the 3rd of October against Watford, then Man City and Tottenham. So we've got a difficult run coming up. Right then, Watford at home. Am I asking for too much if I say that I expect to get a second win? of the career mode. Callum Wilson's going to start again. He was brilliant. Bournemouth at 15th, Watford at 17th. It's already a relegation battle of a match here on FIFA 16. How are we going to get on? We're going to keep passing the ball around because that is something we did in the last match and it got us the victory. Can we do it again against Watford? Let's go. Christian Atsu. We're up against Alessandro Diamanti, the biggest legend so far in my Be A Legend series. I hope he doesn't come back to haunt me today. So again, to Wilson, to Harry Arter, he's been one! Brilliant save from Gomez, and they get it away. Good chances again, though, for this Bournemouth team. Tyrone Mings to Gradle, he's done very well. It's Wilson, oh, he scored! Somehow, we have just made it 1-0. Callum Wilson gets it past Aurelio Calamity Gomez. Well, that's what it used to be anyway. That, I don't know how that's gone in. Look at this. Accident. I didn't mean to pass it there. I actually meant to curl it in. Look at that. Somehow it's gone in. We are winning 1-0 yet again. Callum Wilson is the man with the goal. He's back in the team. We've given Solanke a run. We've given Ranty a run. But Wilson is delivering us the goods at last, as expected from the man up front. Bummer. Diamante with an amazing run, setting up whoever that was on the edge of the area. Look at this. He literally, like, that. that's why Diamante is such a big legend in Be A Legend. Look at him. No other man on the planet can do that. Even Messi would struggle. Diamante again. Please don't hurt us, mate. Literally, I'm begging you, pal. Stop it. Don't do it to us. Don't do it to us. Wilson again. That's a nice ball towards Christian Atsu, who's turned inside brilliantly. Lovely play towards Gradle. Brilliant tackle from the Watford defence. That was a real chance for us with a lot of pace. Okay, 15 minutes to go. He has not had the best of games. So Yuri Tielemans is going to come off the Loftus cheek. Arta's going to move forward. We are going to bring on Kennedy for Max Gradle, who's not had the best of games. And Atsu is going to come off as well for Bakali. A triple substitution. Fresh legs going forward. That is what we're after. Don't know who that yellow card is for. Callum Wilson again. Is it too late to say that we can actually still win this game? Bakali now drills it in. It's not going to fall to Wilson. Bloody hell. Once again, dominated in possession, which I think is virtually going to be a theme of every single match. But... We are now on a two-match unbeaten streak in the Barclays Premier League. We still haven't won at home, 
But who knows? Maybe. Probably not. But we might beat Man City and Tottenham in the next episode. Who knows? Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode of Bournemouth Career Mode today. That is the end. Going to take you guys back out and look at where we are in the Barclays Premier League table. The draw against Watford will keep us ahead of Watford, which is good news. As long as we're ahead of someone. Probably the most ridiculous thing you can say in football. But... We are 15th in the table. One win out of eight. Not good. Four draws, three defeats. We've only conceded eight goals, which is the lowest amount of goals conceded in the bottom half of the table. Liverpool, I, I don't know what's going on with Liverpool. They are still bottom after seven games with no wins. We start off the next episode against Manchester City, who have won their last three matches. So it's going to be tough. We're going to start with some player development as well. Tielemans needs to do some training because he was awful against Watford but hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode drop a like rating on the video if you did if we can hit 4,000 likes here for our first victory that'll be insane I'll see you all next time bye bye